Hi guys, um, I'm recording this on my phone. I'm trying to be quiet for my Miss Mickey, she's there. I'm not using my laptop right now. The vet said she could have liver disease or lung disease, I can't remember exactly, it's one of the two. Bacterial disease, yeah, infection. She could have a yeast infection, which is very common in birds. It did mention another one that she could have, but I can't for the life of me remember it. As you can tell, it looks like I've had a long night. I have, to be honest. Um, she could be low on vitamin A as well, so it could be anything right now. She has, the doctor has taken a sample yeah, of her. Yeah, it's um, very runny, which shouldn't be not normal. So she's getting that tested in case there's something there we can figure out what it is. I've had a long, long night with Mickey. Um, she's next to me. She's a poor little girl. She's timed how much she's breathing in a minute. It's too fast. So it could be anything right now. She's done, she's done all right. She's a bit fluffy. Um, she hates me since yesterday. I had to grab out the cage for two fets. Um, one to hold her in the cloth, and the other in the my fet to check on her. Good girl. Um, she has been tweeting here in the night. There's me jumping up. This is how close she's next to me. There's my beautiful girl, Mickey. In there. I don't know if you can see her, um, but she's literally right next to me. I will keep you updated as soon as I receive a phone call of her sample um, that comes through. That could be any time between yesterday and seven days. So hopefully something shows up that way so we can sort her out. Yeah, so she's not allowed in with the other birdies, Minnie's missing her, um, Mickey's missing her sister, so they're both missing each other because they've never been apart, so I'm very tired, but she's worth every minute. I am married. Yesterday I was mentally drained physically. Today I feel drained. But I think I will plod along for my girl. I told the vets asked me about the story behind her and her sister and I went told him the truth. Even my mum said it to me what she said to me and it's true what why I got them I was at my lowest point near four years ago and I was really bad mentally really bad at me and it got to the point where I wanted out the whole place the whole universe I got Mickey and Minnie, they were the only two budgies I saw. Cages were dirty, minion and yeah. It got to me so I took them home. Bear in mind I never had budgies in my life. Mm. And best thing I ever done. They don't know how much they saved me. They rely on me to look after them, and I have. I look after them so much more than myself. They come first, no matter the situation. They come first in my brain. Everything else comes after them. 
and that's the way I'll always be. But I won't stay too long on a video. But I wanted you to all know I did do a community little post yesterday because I couldn't, I couldn't do a video yesterday. Um, I am worried about my girl, Mickey. And she's sitting on my chair that I never let anyone on. And I dragged her next to me last night. You can have a girl, Mickey. Yeah, you can have a girl. I know. Get me sorted. I have got some medicine to give her at the moment. And that should help her. Help her out. She only gets one drop once a day. <laughs> so hopefully that will help her. Help her out. And then she may end up on antibiotics. Depending on what her species show they took. Hopefully there's nothing there and go from there. There is a lady I can see but she's an hour away from me. And God knows how much that would cost me. Um, but my friend said that if she's got to go see her, my car can turn up any time now and we'll take her. I was like, oh, thank you. I'll pay petrol. I won't have nothing for free. I'll pay petrol when and if we have to go. She was like, no, no, no. I went, I am. I don't care what you say. I said, I'll hide it in your car. And then you'll find it one day. Go, Where the hell did that come from? So that will confuse you, I went. But yeah, I'm going to end this video now. Eight gone, eight o'clock in the morning. I'm not, uh, yeah. Mentally and physically, a little mentally is drained, but because I'm worrying about her, I'm physically drained because I love my, love my girls and boys and I'll do anything to protect them. And uh, the vet loved her. They go, isn't she a funny girl? And I went, she's even more funny at times when she goes upside down on the cage. She goes, has she changed a little bit since? And I went, yes. I go, she's not tweeting as much like she normally does. Tweeting along with other birds. She's not doing it. It's all the others doing it. Um, her sister keeps going, going up to, her, to pick on her. Um, so obviously her sister's worked out. She's not well, so quite frankly, I'm glad my little, she's my little girl's in in her cage. It's, it's a hospital cage, so it's not much in there. She has got a toy in there. Uh, she's got obviously her food and water. And a perch she's sitting on at the minute. Aren't you, Mickey? You're beautiful. Bet loved you, didn't she? Till you bit her. And, yeah. <laughs> oh, she's alright in weight. Um, She's 40 grams. 40G, whatever that is, I think it's grams. I said, is that bad or good? She went, no, it's good, actually, for her. I went, right, okay. She felt her stomach, because they got, like, a sack in there where they keep where they put food and eat. She said, that's full. She has eaten. I went, thank God for that. So she said, she has eaten. So it's not like she hasn't. I'm glad she's eaten. But I'm going to go, guys. And I'll speak to you soon. I will keep you updated. Um, I can't remember where I've done with Bumblebee. I know I didn't do any yesterday on Bumblebee. So the last video i done for that. 
should be still looking the same as what it is on the table right now. Um, but yeah. I'm going to go and get coffee. And I will speak to everyone as soon as I can. Um, but we got to let other people know I've forgotten about. And... Take care, guys. Have a good one. Bye.